Okay, Albert, I've loaded up a Disney avatar of you, but to unlock your avatar, you have to code, and you have three minutes. Go. I got this. I see, this says character. Maybe if I put my name in, maybe the computer knows. <laughs> that should do something, right? <laughs> Okay, error. Um, so read what it says. Unexpected variable. So let's create a variable for your button element. I like that there's dollar signs included within yes. <laughs> this coding. Go to the other screen and refresh and okay. see if that error screen has gone away. Come on, big money, big money. Ooh, another oh error. I, I think this is rigged. Time's taken, Albert. Uh, there's something that says false. If yes. I make that true, it'll fix it. Uh, I'm gonna have nightmares of like save and refreshes and, <laughs> and errors. Time's up, let's see what you got. Nothing. Dang. Very close though, uh, very close. So we're gonna just tweak a couple things in your code and then we wanna create a function that lets the browser know what to do when that button's clicked. Okay. All right, now let's refresh the page. Click view your avatar. Voila. Whoa. He's cute. That's a cute little right? avatar. Isn't he adorable? Like good, good work on that. Yeah. All right, so you clearly are the pro here. You know what you're doing for sure. <laughs> but when you're not creating fantastic avatars like that, what else are you doing in your job? So I code features for our sites. Uh, so Disney.com, StarWars.com, and our Disney blogs. Those are quite a few different platforms. Do you happen to have a favorite one that you code for? I would say my favorite site is probably DCOM, Disney.com. It's very vast. So there's a lot of different features you get to work on. How does that particular job differ here at Disney? So we have a really great culture. That's massive. Yeah, it's great. It's great. And you get to also have a cool hangout space like this. Yeah, I mean, our heart space. So. <laughs> what kind of perks do you get working here at Disney? Or what kind of perks do you feel like you enjoy the most as an employee here? So even though I work in the Glenda office, we get passes to go to Disneyland. But I think a big perk working here is that they create a lot of learning and development opportunities for us. Mm -hmm. So they're really willing to invest in us. And also, huge company, one of the biggest media companies in the world. So there's a lot of opportunities to move as you progress through your career to different roles throughout the company. Why did you decide to pursue a career in this? I'm a pretty analytical and inquisitive person by nature. My background is in finance, so when I started at Disney, I was a financial analyst. That role really helped me develop my analytical thinking skills, and it taught me how to look at big data sets. And software engineering really values those traits, so it seemed like a good fit. And many of my um, other developer peers did not start off in coding. Yeah, they don't even have degrees in computer science or anything. Now that you've been here for three years, our viewers would love to get some advice, some tips. So can you give us three tips for what we should do if we want to become a software engineer here at Disney? Totally. If you want to learn how to code, the best way to do that is to dive into some code. So listening to computer science lectures isn't really going to cut it. You have to sit at your computer and struggle with programming to become a programmer. Tip number two, while you're working on your programming skills, it's equally as important to develop your interpersonal skills. Being a solid programmer will get you pretty far, but if on top of that you can be an effective communicator and you're charismatic, you will be in extremely high demand. Last tip, I would say, if you meet successful people throughout your career who are willing to give you advice and take you under their wing, make sure to nurture those relationships. I'd say it's important to have diverse mentors so that you can get different perspectives throughout your career and that'll really help you as you're growing. Fantastic. Yeah. It, and it's cool that two out of those three tips dealt with people. Some from the outside might assume, oh, it's just me and the computer all day. But no, yeah. like you're around people. So I actually thought coding would be just like that. Me sitting quietly, coding, not speaking to anyone. I talk to people all day. <laughs> well, Lelina, thank you for talking with us today. Yeah, Thanks for talking my with pleasure. all of us. We really appreciate you bringing us to work with you. And thank you for joining us. For now, I want to get back now to playing with this <laughs> avatar. <laughs>